Hi guys, today we are talking about going vegan or plant-based. Does it actually work when you have HS? Does it lessen flare-ups? Does it put you in remission? We are going to talk all about that, so stay tuned. This is going to be a good one. Welcome to Her HS Story. My name is Shauna from shaunasincerely.com and today I want to talk to you about my journey with HS and going vegan um, and how it's like helped me um, get into remission for the past four years on and off mainly. Um, the last past year, sorry, um, I've had zero flare-ups which was amazing. So I will share with you what I eat and what I don't eat um, and basically just the gist of how I kind of like live my lifestyle food wise. So four years ago, I decided to try something completely new and this was huge for me because when I say I was a huge meat eater, I was a huge meat eater, okay? And I just want to actually put a little disclaimer. I have nothing against anyone who eats meat. If you eat meat, if you're doing a paleo diet, keto, whatever, do you, boo? Honestly, you know your body best, but I can only share my journey with you and share with you what's worked for me in the past four years. So keep in mind my background is Jamaican. I come from a family that eats tons of meat um, and I grew up eating meat. So me wanting to change my diet was literally out of desperation like i felt like i had tried everything with my hs i've been to all of these doctors you guys know the drill you know the roller coaster ride it is to go through when you have a condition like this so you almost feel like um you operate out of desperation to kind of figure things out for yourself so four years ago that was exactly what i did you know i remember my sister read an article um about going plant-based and it's basically healing your body and I remember just not wanting to believe this article because I loved meat, I loved dairy, you know, I loved all of those things like pizza was my favorite, lasagna and ground beef and all of this stuff. I would be the first one in line to fill my plate up, okay? <laughs> so I knew how hard it would be at first to like change my diet drastically like that. but. Because I had so many flare-ups, I was basically between stage 2 and stage 3 of HS. So for those of you who don't know, there are three stages for um, the levels of flare-ups that you get. Um, so in the very beginning, I started at stage 1 and then it kind of like started um, increasing to stage 2 and then I got a lot of graphing in my skin um, under my breast at stage three so at stage three I was desperate I was like no I'm going to try something different you know I've been taking these um, hormone pills steroid pills using creams um, I don't I didn't try Humira or anything like that but I did try a lot of like different things like steroid injections and it was just a lot of <laughs> craziness and I'm sure a lot of you know that but I decided to first cut out meat and in that same article I remember reading something about gluten. I could try to find the article if you guys are interested. Um, but I decided to cut out gluten, meat, um, anything that was like animal byproducts, so dairy, whatever. I didn't really understand the, what the word vegan meant at the time so I would, wouldn't really use that label and today I don't really use that that um, label but if somebody asks me like what do you eat I will say I eat a plant-based diet or I if you know what veganism means that's the closest that I can relate to when it comes to food um, I just feel like labels are very restricting so I try to sort of stay away from them either way regardless moving on I basically cut out all of the animal byproducts meat I still had soy in my diet and that didn't change till just recently um, one year ago with a specialist to a cosmetic specialist surgeon who handles surgeries for people who have HS so I remember talking to her and asking her for a breast reduction I could talk about that in another video if you're interested leave a comment below um, 
but she, I remember her saying, you know, we should try cutting out soy. And for a doctor to even like say something or mention something around food and cutting it out, that's very rare that you'd hear that because doctors don't really deal with the food part. They more so deal with the medicine. So when she said that to me, I knew it was like, wow, like that's something to take into consideration and she also asked me if I was eating a plant-based diet and I told her yes I've been eating a plant-based diet for three years at that time and she said perfect um, lots of studies show that that's the best way to go when you have HS so that was coming from a doctor um, I don't know how true that is but all I can tell you is how it makes me feel um, and my results so my results are that in the first year that I decided to go vegan and gluten-free um, my flare-ups literally decreased from me being in the hospital almost every week or every other week to me being in the hospital maybe like every three to four months and then by the second year it was maybe every six months by the third third year it was maybe every seven to eight months and by the fourth year, I had went a whole year without flare-ups. So literally, it was like, I think it was like January 17th to January 17th of the new year, which is crazy, right? Um, but it's not crazy because when you think about it, that's around Christmas time and that's usually around the time that, you know, we tend to pick at the foods that we're not really supposed to be eating or that trigger us because we're around family and whatever. It's the holidays. It happens for human. That was like huge for me just to kind of go from being in the hospital every single week to being in the hospital maybe once a year. Like that's amazing. How many of you would love that, right? I just feel like going plant-based changed a lot of things for me. Like I could start to see what would what my body would react to. So for example, if I picked at something like I would rarely ever have dairy. Like dairy was the one thing that would put me in the hospital. Like I remember I went out for tacos once and I told the person, you know, I'm allergic to cheese. I cannot have cheese, whatever. And it was, I don't know what they did with like the zucchini or something. I think they crusted it and there was like Parmesan in it um, or something along those lines. And I literally flared up with, uh, within 48 hours. I had a huge abscess under my breast. And I knew that night that I ate it, something was a little bit different with my stomach. Like I could feel especially if you haven't like you're not eating dairy for such a long time if that happens you could feel like your digestive system like kind of going out of whack and I remember thinking wow I think I ate something that I shouldn't have eaten at this place and 48 hours later had a flare-up <laughs> literally it got so bad um, and so quickly right that was the the most shocking thing was that it was like under my skin and then it came to surface literally within 48 hours and I don't know how it works for most of you but in my experience with HS flare ups I could literally have an abscess for like seven days before I could go and get it drained right before it's at that stage so I knew that dairy was a huge trigger so dairy would like literally give me a full-blown flare like even two three at a time um, and gluten is the weird one like when I would eat gluten and I'll do another video about gluten in HS um, but just to kind of give you a little bit of a background story is with gluten I would find that I wouldn't get a new um, flare let's say but kind of like my old scars would kind of reopen themselves I don't know if that makes sense to you like have you ever like healed like your HS wound has healed completely and then next thing you know it just kind of like it just opens right that would happen with wheat or anything with gluten in it um so I literally strictly do not eat dairy or flat or flour or wheat or anything like that um there's a lot of great substitutions like chickpea flour rice flour I know a lot of HSers do not eat rice. If you're on the AIP diet, you don't really eat rice. I've never had a problem with rice. I like to stick to wild rice or brown rice. I've never really been like a white rice person. Um, so I'm, I don't really have any experience with that. But what I can say is that, yeah, like eggs, dairy, gluten were just like big no-nos for me. And when I finally cut out the soy last year, January, 
it was like no flare-ups at all at all and I knew that soy was like the missing piece of the puzzle with meat I just don't even need it anymore like I used to be a huge meat fanatic now I just don't eat meat I've never had a lapse in wanting meat I don't crave it anymore it's kind of crazy um, but my digestive system feels so much better since kind of like cutting those those things out so that's my experience with going vegan if you guys want to know more about that let me know leave a comment below inbox me I'll put our contact in the description below but if you have any more questions about going vegan I will definitely make another video about it um, I hope this helped and once again like just remember that you know your body right listen to your body and be honest with yourself like for me I didn't want to go vegan at first because I felt like I can't do this I cannot give up meat like no I can't meat dairy especially dairy cannot be what's bugging me but i knew from the age of 14 every time i ate dairy i felt like i'd have a flare-up and doctors would make me feel crazy about it and i accepted that information from them because i didn't want dairy to be the problem and i continued to eat it and i continued to make myself sick so just listen to your body because just because dairy doesn't work for me you know maybe it's different for you but what I can say is I would definitely do my research on just eating a more plant-based diet like there could never be anything wrong with just sticking to what's closest to mother nature and the earth I'm in remission and I'm so happy and I feel so good and when I was eating meat I had a lot of challenges with my body I didn't feel very good so I mean you can, it never hurts to just try, right? Just try it out. I had a friend whose mother had HS and she didn't even know she had HS until she met me and finally went to a specialist where she got diagnosed after years. I think it was like 25 years, 30 years she had HS and she didn't even know. And she cut out um, meat, animal byproducts, um, gluten, and her flare-ups under her stomach cleared up within days. And around Christmas time, she you know had some meat had some dairy and she flared up right away and she is totally convinced that it, it's a huge factor in being in remission and staying in remission so once again it's just my story and this is why I entitled this channel her HS story because I can only share with you my experience so I hope that helps and if you have more questions I know I was kind of all over the place with this video I've never really done anything like it um, just make sure to leave a comment below and I'll answer all of your questions and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at her HS story and also give us a big fat like on our Facebook page and on this video and you can find us everywhere basically at her HS story I love you guys so much remember you are worthy you are enough HS does not define you and and the world is yours. I love you so much. Bye. But no, I totally, totally get it. It's really like, it's scary, right? To tell this person that you like, that you have hydronized Supertiva. It's not that 